Okay, so the question is, why don't I just use the paint bucket tool? Well, let me show you why. Okay, so you see this little circle I got right here? Well, let's see what happens when I use the paint bucket tool on it. Okay, now, while it might look good at first, let's take a look at it zoomed in. Okay, so while this may not seem like a big deal either, but, like, this, just look at the rim and see, notice how the little gray dots at the rim of the, um, circle. While these may not seem like a big deal, they kind of are because they become more noticeable the smaller and more complex the shape it gets. Like, I usually animate cats, so... When I'm animated, when I when I used to animate that and use the paint bucket tool, you would see these were these little lines were way more apparent because of the um, paint bucket tool for some reason not filling in everything that just the way you want it. So that's why it's a lot better to use the um, to just make another. A, um, another layer and then draw, color it from underneath because that will get you where you need to be. Also, you know what? Let me just draw a cat and show you how, how much worse it could get. Okay, so I have a cat. Now, watch what happens when I use the paint bucket tool. Okay, now we've colored it in. Now, let me just zoom in on the cat. Let me just give some zoom in pictures of the cat and show you just how bad it is. Okay, so I guess now you may be able to, um, see what I'm saying with the, um, uh, paint bucket tool. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna end the video here, and while I'm here, here's just a random clip from 2Time.